Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello. Um, today's reading is going to explore the group energies for the 12th to the 19th of February 2023. And I just wanted to do a quick astrological update on one or two main things is that Mercury met up with Pluto briefly as it was exiting Capricorn uh, the other day um, and that can sort of bring a lot of tensions and some of these energies are felt quite a little while either side it's not just set your watch by it and then the well, I'm glad that's over so um, <laughs> just sort of be kind to yourself um, and then Mercury um, will join Oh, or has joined now because it's the 12th isn't it um, wherever you are in the world of course um, joins up with an Aquarius with this, heading towards the Sun so as I speak today the moon is in Scorpio and it's waning moon and it's a third quarter moon or often called the last quarter moon which gives off an energy of letting go um, clearing out debris that's been hanging on um, letting go of all that sort of stuff that's been stirred up and unsettled still within you um, if it's okay and you're just sitting here watching me why not take a deep breath in and relax because now is the time take one more deeper breath and just as you breathe out let go of any of the energies of frustration and debris that could be just still hanging around you energetically within or without from any negative any debris frustrations from negative experiences and attitudes and fiery arguments and oh as you breathe out we can just let go of all that negative shiz and as we take a moment to breathe in we can breathe in energy and light that is positive that can allow our inner garden to flourish in the way that we would like it to. Look what's flipped over for us. We've been tense about having to spin plates in the air for one reason or another. It's time to just find some balance and trust that a new day is going to come and we have the angel of time on our side because temperance was also known about years ago as um, the angel of time so just getting that balance right is what it's all about so for those of you who are in Australia watching me on Tuesday here in Oz it's Valentine's Day and the moon will be in adventure Sagittarius because it's a day for love and romance and friendships and just good vibes um, I will share further planetary updates and transits on my um, community page or if you have join me on my Facebook page or on Instagram um, please say hello and what we'll do now oh, I think this card's telling me to get on with it I hope you're not feeling too frustrated with the way things are going so we're going to pull some cards for the week and then we'll look at a few tea leaf cards so let's look at the energy for the week sorry I, I love this deck it's a Conrad Stain deck had a lot of people ask me about it so I'll put it in the notes so here we have the cards we have one the energy around us for this week is the Sun I'm taking them straight from the top there's an opportunity to find that balance that is needed 
and the best way to look after ourselves is to just perhaps go within and see what's hurting I'll talk about that more later and we can expect to hear news from with the nine of coins and by the end of the week we can expect to see an offer now <clears throat> the sun this overall energy is the sun so what is going on around here if you're wanting to look after yourself sometimes it's good to go within and ha and release release that hurt that trouble that's been in there instead of allowing it to block you and whilst that can be difficult to face that aspect of yourself that part of you that may not want to let go or that part of you that's still hurting and holding on it might be just the time to do what you need to do to release to release that and because we have the overall energy of the Sun and we go from the Sun to the Knight of Cups overall it's a it's a pretty good week for us we also have an opportunity to be able to help someone else we also have the opportunity to get the mix right and the balance right we also have an opportunity to experiment with some stuff and try something new there's also an opportunity to socialize as well I talked about the best way to look after yourself is perhaps spend that little bit of time and go within to that pain and look at that part of you that's in pain and I'm going to see what can help with that and that is once you've gone in to the pain and acknowledged that part of yourself and been gotten in touch with that part of yourself be kind to that part of yourself and thank that part of you that is hurting because it's letting you know that um, it's protecting you in one way and we and you want to be able to let that part of you come together and join with all the other positive parts allow that hurting part to weep and release and also allow that hurting part to then join with the other parts of you and we're all made of many parts to be able to look towards the future and be able to get your life moving in the direction that you wanted to go and take charge of your life again and how you want it to be and focus on all the good things and that's happened and which way you want your direction to go as I said with this card it's we can expect to hear news from someone who's been doing really well. We can expect to um, be having conversations with someone who has been very good. And this person is sort of coming to you and wanting you to join a group of other like-minded people. Or, or they've got an idea that may help you um, expand your life in some way. Because by the end of the week, you can expect to have an offer come present itself to you and this offer is going to be an offer that you have been hoping for you've been waiting for maybe come in a message a telephone call a text or someone just you meet up with and there's this wonderful opportunity with the sunshine and these two together <clears throat> that's going to really allow you to get things moving the way that you want it to go so I want to look at what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Cups. And the overall energy of the Two of Cups is about meeting up with other like-minded person that's going to bring opportunities that will, is both beneficial to you and beneficial to them. And it's going to work in a very wonderful collaborative way. So. If you're putting out or expecting some news, stay positive about it because there's going to be a breakthrough. When I look at the tea cards today, 
<coughs> move them all down a little bit. Oh. Mm. This midweek you'll move through very quickly because the numbers are small. <coughs> and we'll just give these a little shuffle. I did clear them earlier. It's nice to sort of do it. Someone's going to jump out. And I'm going to cut them into three. And I'll take one from the top. We have the moon. And as I said, we're with the last quarter moon. So there's changes coming with the moon. And one thing, whenever we're going through something, it is good to know that it, it can be changed. Um, things will change and to stay open and positive because um, th there's changes coming in your life. The second one is the beetle of good fortune. So it's going to be quite an optimistic week. And there's also someone leaving your life with the chair. I just might do one more. New home, new broom, new attitude. Things are looking up. So there's definitely some changes happening with energy of change. Or maybe you're just going to change things around in your, in your place to just sort of clear out that energy that's possibly been going a little bit stagnant. Because often this it's like nothing sweeps clean like a new broom. Oops, maybe it's just um, you may not have to move home, you can just make your home new again with freshening it all up and clearing out the energy. It's time to pay attention to your finances because sometimes when we get that in order that brings that um, opportunities of good fortune or sometimes you find cleaning out your bags if you're doing a sort out and you find $50 or something in your wallet in the wallet in your bag that you didn't even know you had. Or, I don't know if that's happened to you, but it's happened to me. And we have the dolphin of financial gain that's coming from something that you did in the past. And I can't help but think that that's connected, this. These cards are connected by the end of the week with that. And because I like the power of three, I will take one more from these and expect to make a short journey. And I took two there, so we have happiness and well-being with the sun. So a lot of the themes are getting repeated this week. So I think it's going to be quite an optimistic week for us all. And it's time to just go out and have some fun um, with that. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the cards. Um, let me know if it resonates with you. Um, I'd like to hear your feedback. And if there's any sort of questions you'd like to ask, let me know and I'll do my best to answer it. So thanks for watching once again and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.